Salam alaikum ladies. This is the modesty tag that I think was started by I'm Digging Jesus. Um, I'll leave a link to her channel in the doobly-doo. And I was tagged by Miss Praise Girl, who I will also leave a link to in the doobly-doo. Um, before I start, do you like my tweenies curtain? I thought I'd say who they are tweenies because I'm sure that someone is going to ask me what curtain I've got in the background. It's actually a bed sheet. I don't have curtains in the kitchen and... I needed something to, you know, stop people from being able to look in so I can actually walk around my house without, you know, in, without wearing hijab. So I stuck that up there until I can get a curtain. Um, the first question is, show us your modest outfit. And, you know, today I'm just wearing a hoodie and a pair of velour sweatpants. So I'm going to leave a link to my uh, Valentine's Day outfit of the day in the in the uh, doobly-doo. So I've got a really itchy nose. <coughs> um... Because, I mean, saying like show us your modest outfit, it's like all of our outfits are modest, so, you know, I can't really just pick one. Uh, the second question is, how long have you been dressing modestly? Uh, that's about a year now, I think. Three is, share with us your favourite scriptures on modesty. I haven't really got a favourite one. I think all of them, really, the ones from the Bible and the Quran, to be honest, because I think they're all really sort of like inspirational and they make you feel like you are doing you know the right thing and that you know that is what god wants you to be you know that this is how god wants you to be and this is you know how god wants you to dress so um if you just google um women modesty bible or women modesty quran into um google obviously then you'll get loads come up and they they are worth reading or just actually just put women in the bible or women in the quran and you you know you get some really interesting you know scriptures come up uh question four is what was it that got you dressing modestly that was me getting engaged that was when it sort of started really because you know long story short i've explained it more in my why hijab video but you know all of my life i dressed the opposite of modest and when i got engaged to my fiance I kind of, I was going for kind of a life change then anyway, you know, I went back to being Christian again, which I hadn't been for like seven years, and, you know, I, I wanted to just keep myself and my fiancé, I wasn't bothered about what other men thought anymore, and I always had been, I'd always wanted other men to still find me attractive, even when I was with someone else, and now I don't, you know, I don't want them to be looking at me in, you know, like I'm a single woman or anything, because you know, I'm not, and, you know, everything I've got is for my, you know, fiancé and just him, nobody else. So, five is skirts versus pants. I don't actually see a problem with women wearing trousers. It doesn't, you know, I mean, I do, you know, I, I still, you know, I still wear them. Um, I can kind of see why there's some women who say, you know, that you, you shouldn't, obviously it says in the Bible, I think, and in the Quran, that, you know, women shouldn't try and dress like men, but I don't think wearing trousers is women dressing like men, I think that's something completely different. I think, you know, if you're wearing a pair of wide leg trousers or a pair of palazzos, I, you know, sometimes that can be more modest than wearing a skirt, so, yeah, I don't, I don't see a problem, but given a choice, I would rather wear skirts, I'm quite a princessy, girly kind of girl, so I really like wearing, you know, long floaty skirts, um, but a lot of the time for practicality being in a wheelchair I you know I have to wear trousers really because wearing a long skirt means it gets caught under the wheels and you know drags so number six is give us a modesty tip I mean long sleeve t-shirts are a must you know every hijabi or every you know modest woman should have them because I think when you start wearing you know hijab or you start dressing modestly you kind of go through your wardrobe and just think like i have nothing that i can wear and it is obviously going to be really expensive if you go out and buy yourself an entirely new wardrobe of just modest clothes whereas if you just buy you know long sleeve tops i mean you can get them for about three quid in primark i think and you know you can wear the clothes that you wore before you just wear a long sleeve top underneath it so you know you make it modest and, you know, there's always dresses and stuff that you want that, you know, are short-sleeved or whatever. And, you know, you can still get them if you've got a long-sleeved top on underneath. And, um, yeah, so I think those. And dresses with skirts as well is another thing. That that can look quite nice depending on what, you know, kind of skirt is 
dresses with skirts i meant <laughs> skirts with trousers if you wear you know like skinny jeans or straight leg jeans with a skirt that can actually look really nice depending obviously on what you know style of trousers you've got so yeah those are probably my tips you can keep your old clothes just buy long sleeve tops straight leg jeans and then you know obviously gradually start buying more modest stuff uh, seven what's the biggest change to your wardrobe everything all of it um, every single outfit that I wore I always was showing cleavage with everything didn't matter where I was going or what I was doing I always you know had my cleavage on show and obviously now I definitely don't so that's probably the biggest one for me was you know not showing my cleavage all the time uh eight where do you shop i still just shop everywhere i did before i just buy different stuff you know i don't think you don't have to go to islamic shops or you know anywhere like that you can still go to you know the normal places that you'd go just you know buy modest stuff i mean every shop that sells clothes has long sleeved stuff and you know long skirts or even you know long cardigans shrugs whatever so yeah i still shop in the same place as i did which is new look primark next are probably my favorites they're the first ones that spring to mind uh nine what's the best thing about dressing modestly i think everything you know that yeah just i lo I, I love it you know you feel more i feel i feel more like you know my own person that i'm in control of myself and my body and you know in control of what other people are seeing and as i've said before like you know you feel pretty instead of sexy and when someone says like oh you look nice you know that you look nice and they're not just you know looking at you in a way that you really probably don't want people looking at you and number 10 there wasn't a question so it's make up your own one so i thought i'd do what's the worst thing about dressing modestly because especially when you first start where you know dressing modestly and that it can be really frustrating when you see people you know other women wearing clothes that you would have worn in the past and now you can't and i think that can be difficult when you first start you know or when you first you know you go out on shopping trips and that with your friends and you see things that you like or they say like oh this would really suit you and you think yeah but it hasn't got long sleeves or it's you know really low cut or it's too short and i wouldn't say that you kind of feel like you're missing out but you can sort of feel a bit like well i can't, I can't wear that anymore but it does pass you know i mean like i said i've only been dressing modestly for a year and it it doesn't last forever you know you you sort of you do get more of your own sense of style instead of what you know the media and society tells you how your style should be you develop your own sense of style and you find so many other different things that you can wear instead that it starts to not you know not bother you and like i said before with the long sleeve tops you know they are your best friend you know you can wear a thin strapped you know maxi dress just wear a long top underneath it you know it's there are ways around it but yeah i tag everyone as i always do <clears throat> if people leave video responses to this video then um you know it's easier for me to you know see it and i am genuinely interested in you know other people's reasons for you know dressing modestly or wearing hijab and you know i think people think with these tag videos that you know we're all going to answer the same you know and we don't you know everyone has their own reasons and everyone started at different times everyone's at different you know there's some ladies who you know they've been dressing modestly their entire lives and there's other people who are like me who have only been doing it for you know a year or two so it's always good to see you know what other sisters think and you know find out who you've got you know maybe the same answers in common so yeah i tag everyone I've got two videos coming up very soon, a makeup tutorial for the makeup that I'm wearing that you probably can't see very well because like I said the lighting in here is really bad and I do apologise and a easy peasy hijab, loose beginner hijab basically that takes about 30 seconds to do so they'll be up in the next two weeks. I'm not going to say a week because that never ever happens so I will see everyone very soon, be good to each other.